Consider the following two process synchronization solution. Process 0, entry, loop while turn equal to equal to 1, critical section, exit, condition, turn equal to 1. Process 1, entry condition, loop while turn equal to equal to 0, and critical, se critical section, and exit condition, turn equal to equal, turn equal to 0. It's not equal to equal to. The shared variable turn is initialized to 0. Which of the following is true? A. This is a correct two process synchronization solution. B. This solution violates mutual exclusion requirement. C. This solution violates progress requirement. D. This solution violates bounded weight requirement. So this is a question coming from operating system section regarding process synchronization. Now, while designing process synchronization solutions, it has to satisfy these two primary goals. One is it should satisfy mutual exclusion and two it should satisfy progress. And then it can also satisfy the secondary requirements that is bounded weighting and architectural neutrality. Now these two conditions it has to satisfy otherwise it is not a solution. Now these two properties are optional. We can if we have these two then it is better our solution is a better solution. If these two are also not there also it is fine still we can call it a synchronization solution but these two are the ones we absolutely need mutual exclusion here means at any point two processes should not enter the critical section only one process should be able to enter the critical section that is mutual exclusion now progress means if some process has needs to enter the critical section then some other process which is not planning to enter the critical section should not be controlling the process which wants to enter the critical section so i'll repeat suppose let us say process 0 wants to enter the critical section and let us say process 1 currently now doesn't want to enter the critical section then in that case process 1 should not block or slow down process 0 from entering the critical section process 0 process 0 should be allowed to enter the critical section in such cases if process 1 doesn't want to enter now that is progress bounded weighting means any process should not be having to wait indefinitely in order to enter the critical section that is some process should not be starved from entering the critical section that is bounded waiting architectural neutrality means our solution should work on any platforms irrespective of the operating system or the processor etc that is architectural neutrality but these two are the ones which we absolutely need so we will see if our solution satisfies these two conditions okay now what is what is our solution doing here the entry condition is while entering before entering the critical section it will loop while turn equal to equal to 1 so turn is a variable here so if turn is 1 then process 0 won't be enter, won't be able to enter the critical section but if turn is not 1 then process 0 will enter the critical section because this while loop will be returning false so it will exit from here it will come to the critical section and it will execute the critical section and after that while exiting it will make turn equal to 1 now if you look at process 1 it will be looping while turn is equal to 0 while turn is equal to 0 it will keep on looping here it won't be able to enter the critical section but if turn is not equal to 0 then it will enter the critical section and while exiting it will make turn equal to 0 okay so turn here changes between 1 and 0 so when turn is 1 only process 1 will be able to enter the critical section after entering it will make turn equal to 0 and when turn is 0 process 0 will be able to enter the critical section and while exiting it will make turn equal to 1 so if turn is 0 only one process will be entering similarly if turn is 1 also only one process will be entering the critical section so mutual exclusion condition is satisfied in our solution because there is no way at some point both the, both the processes can enter the critical section but is progress there let us say turn is equal to 0 now okay turn is equal to 0 now now if you see while turn is equal to equal to 0 process 1 won't be able to enter the critical section it is blocked process 1 is blocked now but process 0 if you see process 0 will be able to enter the critical section okay now let us say process 0 doesn't want to enter the critical section that is it is not even reaching this point process 0 is executing something else it doesn't want to enter the critical section now but until turn doesn't become 1 process 1 won't be able to enter the critical section so what it means is that if turn is 0 
process 1 wants to enter the critical section but it can't enter because turn is 0 and process 0 also doesn't want to enter the critical sections it is doing something else so process 1 needs to enter but it can't enter process 1 doesn't need to enter it is doing something else which means turn will not become 1 anytime soon so it's like process 1 can't enter the critical section even though it wants and there is no one else who wants to enter but still it is blocked now that means progress condition is not satisfied process 1 wants to enter no one else want to enter but still process 1 can't enter so progress condition is not satisfied so we can't say that this is a proper synchronization solution so if you look at option b op option c this solution violates progress requirements so option c is the right answer